Hey, Paul, uh, you mentioned last game that, you know, the, the series has always been a game of runs you know, throughout the game. Um, defensively, what do you guys still need to work on to be able to seal the deal uh, for game six? Um, I think we did great defensively. We, uh, we just didn't match that last um, bit of pace that they came with. Um, that was it. We played great defensively all game. Uh, just that spurt, we didn't match the intensity. Um, they played a little faster. Um, that's on us for allowing them to play faster. Um, so we, we, we got to do better with that closing the game. Next, we'll go to Dan in the bubble. Well, um, just how, I think people, people might understand just how hard that is to, to put a team away, in the playoffs, especially a team with, with that kind of fight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's playoffs. Um, beating a team three times in a row is, is tough. Um, I mean, that's what we we're facing. Um, and and elimination, elimination games are tough. Um, it is what it is, though. Um, we had them on the line. We gave a game up. Um, game six, we got to come in and put them away. Like, that's, that's the emphasis in the series, game six. Um, we got to do our job and do our job better. Next, we'll go to Miriam. Hey, Paul. Um, Kawhi, who's been through this a few times, said that after a game like this, it's important to stay even keel. Um, and obviously, he's he is an incredibly even keel person. H how much does it help to have a, a dude like that 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 kind of has that demeanor in situations like this? Yeah, I mean, uh, he obviously is the most successful player on this team. And, um, he's been through these. Um, I've been through these, but not to the extent that he has. Um, so you know, you, you rally with a guy that that has that experience and knows what he's talking about. And, um, you know, we're an even kill group as is. And, uh, you know, it, it, it makes it that much better that, uh, you know, our leader is is the guy we can fall back on and, and, and you know, know that uh, we'll be all right. We'll stay together. We'll stay poised. And, um, again, we'll be ready for game six. Next is Owen. Hey, Paul, you had said the other night um, entering this series, you knew that this was a team you could not give them any life just because you knew they were able to come back in 3-1. Is this kind of what you were talking about tonight, what happened? Yeah, yeah. We gave them a little bit of life. Um, you know, and, and they played desperation ball. They didn't have a choice. They played desperation ball. Um, credit them for not wanting to go home. They played great down the stretch. Um, you know, we, we just had to match it. Um, but like I said, all comes down to our approach game six. Max is Tomer. Hey, Paul. Um, you guys have built big leads uh, throughout the postseason, but you know you haven't closed a lot of them out, some of them out anyways. Uh, I'm curious, is that because it's just basketball teams are making runs, or is that you guys taking foot off the pedal, not making shots? What can you, uh, you know, credit that to? Um, you know, I, I think it's, it's just us not putting them away. Um, you know, it's it's that's just simple as it is. I mean, I'm sure you've watched all these games um, that's been going on in the bubble, and you know, teams go big and another team rallies back. Um, it's just how it's been. Uh, but again, it's, it's we're in the driver's seat. Uh, we we had them where we wanted them. Um, again, we should have put them away. Um, they came back. They won the game. Uh, it comes down to game six. Next, we'll go to Cam. Hey, hey, Paul. I've asked you a couple times about the sense of urgency. Um, you showed up within the last uh, couple games here, and in going into the third, fourth quarter, um, did you guys just kind of lose that sense of urgency, or they were just more that much more hungry to kind of win this game tonight? Is that is a matter matter what happened there? Yeah, I mean, they just played. They played hard. Um, they played like the season was on the line. Um, you know, they, they had that approach. And, uh, you know, they were out there flying around. They played hard. Um, and they made timely baskets that they needed. Uh, it's just what it came down to. And then last question will be from Thomas. Uh, hey, Paul. Uh, you know, we saw you all, um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, acknowledge 9-11. I just kind of wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, kind of that and kind of as we continue to remember, uh, you know, the fallen ones from that day and kind of, um, you know, just kind of the overall day and kind of, you know, yeah. Just overall thoughts on kind of, you know, the tribute and the celebration, things of that sort. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing um, to honor uh, the history um, and the amazing people that helped and were involved in the lives that were lost, honor them. 
Um, you know, it's, it's American history. Um, it's a part of my history. Um, you know, and, and it's 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 sad. Um, you know, it's a special day, uh, obviously. Um, you know, and, and I feel for the families. Okay, that's all I got for you. Thank you.